a battery manufacturer, XYZ Batteries, claims its batteries will last on average 20 hours. A consumer advocate organization suspects XYZ Batteries is exaggerating. They take a random sample of nine batteries and find the sample mean to be 18.3 hours. Since this, bat since this type of battery is well known, let's assume the population center deviation is four hours. Is this evidence of 5% level of significance that XYZ is exaggerating? All right, well, first of all, let's, let's uh, look at some of these numbers here. So we have nine batteries in a sample, so n equals nine. We have sample mean is 18.3 hours, so that's x bar equals 18.3 hours. Um, and we have a population standard deviation, four hours. Uh, usually you don't know the population standard deviation, but in this example we do. So, so four, and, and both mean and standard deviation are, are unit, units or hours. Okay. Um, now let's go through the steps. So, well, actually, before we get to the steps, let's just look at this from a common sense point of view. The company says 20 hours is their average battery life. The sample says 18.3. So yes, that is less. Um, and so that's at least some evidence that the manufacturer is exaggerating. Um, so without doing any statistics at all, uh, based on the sample result, there's at least some evidence that the real mean of battery life is lower. But is it solid evidence? Is it strong evidence? Um, the question is, is, at the 5% level of significance, is it enough evidence or not? So that, that's what really where the real question comes in. So let's go through the steps. So this is the z-test for one sample mean. Sigma is known. Sigma is 4 here. So step one, the null and alternate hypotheses. Let's scroll down here a little bit. Um, see if I can zoom this in a little, get a little bit better. Here we go. All right. So uh, step one, the null hypothesis mu equals something. In this case, the null hypothesis is saying that mu is 20, that the real population mean of the batteries is 20, just like the manufacturer claims. Nothing fishy going on. That's that's what uh, null hypothesis is all about. Uh, the alternate is mu is either less or greater or not equal. Well, let's go back to the question. Uh, in this case, we have a suspicion. We have the consumer advocate organization suspects XYZ is exaggerating. So what does that mean? If 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 20 hours is an exaggeration, then that means that the real population mean is actually less than 20. So we have our alternates is mu is less than 20. Okay, step two, obtain and collect the data. So um, check the conditions. Is the sample random? Well, it, it, it doesn't say. Uh, we'll just put a question mark on that one. Did this consumer advocacy group take a true random sample? Um, it says so right here, random sample. So we'll take their word for it that it really is a random sample. All right, now um, the sample size is only nine. So it's very possible that um, that if the distribution is not unimodal and symmetric, then um, if the distribution itself might not be normal. So uh, we, we don't have a histogram. We don't know what the raw data is actually like. So we don't know what the histogram looks like. Uh, N is less than 30. So we don't know for sure that the sampling distribution is normal. But let's just pretend it is so we can finish with the question. All right. Now, uh, step. Um, oh, wait. We're still on step two. Now we have to calculate the mean. Well, that's calculated for us. The mean was, what was it? It was 18.3, I think it was. Um, but we can uh, now do the, the calculation here, the z-score calculation. So z, let, let me zoom this, this uh, the zoom is a little bit funny here. Oops. Okay, so z equals x bar, which is 18.7, excuse me, 18.3, Minus the null, the null, which is 20, 
divided by sigma over square root of n. Sigma is 4. Square root of n is square root of 9. Okay, let's do this calculation. 8.3 minus 20 is negative 1.7. 4 over square root of 9, well, that's 4 over 3, which is 1.3. 3, 3, 3, 3. Okay, divide that. Let's get our calculator here. Where is the calculator? Here it is. All right. Come on, calculator. Okay, so 1.7 divided by 1.33333 is 1.275. I'll round that to 1.28. Okay, not a terribly high z-score, so it's looking like we will not have enough evidence here. You need a high z-score, usually upper ones, 2 point something, 3 point something, to have evidence of something. But let's get the p-value now, so on to step 3. Um, so z is 1.28, we got that. So you can uh, use a calculator, use a website, um, or the table. I'll just, just use the table. Here, let's find 1.28. Oh, uh, let's draw a quick picture here, first of all. So we have a normal a normal curve distribution. The, um, the, the alternate is a less than, so that means the left tail. Uh, so it's actually negative 1.28 is the z-score. So what is the area on the left? All right, let's go to the table. And Where's the, okay, here is the, the standard normal table. Let's zoom this in a little. Uh, we're looking for negative 1.28. So um, negative 1.2 and then 8 is right here. So 0 0.1003. That is the area to the left. Of the, t of, of the negative z-score that we got negative 1.28. So let's write that down, 1.003. So uh, p-value is 1 point, or excuse me, point zero, excuse me, point one zero zero three. All right, so that, that's a pretty high p-value. Um, you could say that there's some weak evidence that the company is exaggerating, but it's not strong enough to convict, so to speak. And so on to step four. Uh, it says here, we failed to reject because p-value was too large. It's more than 0.05 because it asked for the, the original question at the 5% level of significance. So p-value is more than 0.05. So we do not reject. The null hypothesis, so we can say that there is not evidence, or maybe let's say there's not strong evidence. That the company is exaggerating, that XYZ batteries is exaggerating. Now that doesn't mean absolutely that that they're innocent because we just, we don't know. We don't have evidence. Now, if perhaps sample size was larger, let's go back to the original question because it's a little bit surprising. It looked like we had some evidence, but it's just not strong enough evidence. But uh, here's why we didn't find the evidence. The sample size was really small right there, only nine batteries. And also the standard deviation is, is pretty big, relatively speaking, um, four hours. So there's a lot of variation in the individual batteries and so uh, those two things combined gives us a, uh, a pretty big standard error of 1.333, which gave us, when you divide it out, it gave us a pretty small z-score. Now, uh, you could say there's a red flag that there's some evidence that the company is exaggerating. Maybe uh, further research is needed, maybe a bigger sample, uh, and, and maybe you might find evidence in the future. But as of right now, we'd have to say, uh, not enough evidence um, to claim that they that they are exaggerating.
and that's it.